What's good, people? Welcome back to Molson Week. And if you don't know what Molson Week is, it's a week, if not a week and a half, where I use nothing but the Molson. That's why it's called Molson Week. And by the way, in case you enjoy what you see here, then do yourself a favor. Subscribe to this here channel you're seeing on your screen right now, because there I stream this game. And I stream it Wednesday and the weekends. Now, as far as time goes, even I don't know what I'm going to be streaming. So, just subscribe, hit notification bell, and you'll be notified of when I'm going live. Hopefully. Because, you know, freaking YouTube. But anyways, someone's right here. I want to say. Yeah. Diverg Forest. People. Diverg Forest. This map does nothing but test my commentary skills. AKA, how long can Jet go while talking and staying on topic? How long can he go? Well, I'm failing right now, as you can clearly see. So, in this video, I'm going to try to stay on topic and, uh, you know, tell you what's going through my head. Because this video was played, not this video, this game was played like maybe 11 days ago. At the time of this voice recording. So, my brain should still have a little bit of recollection of uh, what the fuck happened here. Alright, so boom. Uh, as I was pinging on, well, at the start of the match, someone should be on the other side of the yellow house. And someone should be over there as well, where I was just looking at. So, I'm thinking to myself, okay, the Verg Forest, I'm down here, and the detector's down here. There should be at least three people here including myself possibly a fourth if someone runs down here from like the middle of the map i should see people someone should be in this house if not near this house why is no one near this house why'd i go up to this competition and hit it for free and not get shot at huh Alrighty then oh okay uh i'm going to just take a chill pill and one of these trees pretty soon because I'm like, bro, is no one really down here? Even the detector's down here. But then the container goes off. And so I'm like, okay, well, maybe people are up there. So, you know, I pack my virtual bags and I start heading up that way. But people, I want you to remember something. I want you to remember something. The detector is down here. I'm going to say it one more time. The detector is back that way. And you see, I even look back that way thinking, damn, is no one really back there? Well, I, I, I guess not. guess I'm going to go up here and uh, see what the hell going on. Now, I'm running out here in the open. And you see, I'm looking around like, bro, is, is no one out here? Well, my dear people, no one is out here. Because this is how Forrest plays. I'm willing to bet if the devs removed Forrest from the map rotation, nobody would bat an eye. I'm willing to bet you. But if the devs take out field content, the whole community will air this, air this bitch out virtually until they get field content back. Yeah, a rock robbed me of a headshot. I'm going to say that one more time. A rock robbed me of a headshot. I mean, he's dead regardless. I mean, you know, that that's cool and all. But a rock robbed me of a headshot. 
you know, maybe maybe it's not the game that sucks. Maybe it's me. Hell, it probably is me. And I know I said that I'm going to try to stay on topic, but I, I got to diverge for a little bit. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to come back. I was watching uh, some like developer footage from Battlefield 4, if not a YouTube video on Battlefield 4, about how the sniping works in that game. And I believe the developer said, in Battlefield 4, we want to try something a bit different. When you fire with a rifle and you have a scope, the bullet comes from the center of your eye and not from the barrel of the gun. So in other words, when you scope in, the bullet goes where your eye goes, not where the barrel goes. So in this game, it appears like the devs are trying to stay true to how guns work. I, I know. Hold on. I, I know. M249, 100 round mag, uh, weighs like 13 pounds, but you still run like a bunny uh, and jump like a bunny. I know. But hear me out. It appears like you can aim down sight with your eye, but the barrel still goes or well, still is the true spot where the bullet leaves. And you know, I like that. I do, but for games, it, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, just, it's just a skill issue for me, okay? I said it. It's just a skill issue. Now, back to the game. Back to the game. The container was hit, and the airdrop's going to land right there. Right there. Cool. I only found one person. Now, granted, it took me a while to get from point A to point B, because after all, I did spawn at the back of the map. But now I'm here. The container was hit, and it's probably empty. Because if you shoot at the container early in the match, you try and get it, you try and get it, and then get going. You feel me? So I'm not expecting anybody to be around here. I'm not expecting that at all. But I find it funny, right? I find it funny. I have the most in my hand, and a G3 on my back. Most players would absolutely laugh at this loadout. Most players would. But I'm going to say this. The G3 is not that bad. I made a video on it, uh, what, uh, shit, I don't know, some days ago. It's not that bad. Like, granted, why would you play a G3 when there's other literally better assault rifles in the game? Such as the A74K. Yeah, you thought I was going to say AYA1. No, the A74K is better. If you know what you're doing. And it's funny how I opened the window, tried to use the conversation, and the shit just went off. That's hilarious. Like, hilarious as in I left in pain. Hilarious. But yeah, uh, the A's, it, I believe it goes G3, A74K, uh, M4A1, AURA1, and that's it. Yeah, if you're expecting me to say L85, I I don't enjoy using that rifle. I mean, that assault rifle. It, it's too stiff. The AWR A1 is actually, to me, more accurate, and it has smoother recoil. And it's kind of more forgiving, if you will. But yes, now, back to the gameplay. I'm trying to stay on topic. The airdrop area has been radiated, as well as the airdrop itself. So if anybody goes for this airdrop, they're going to die. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. And speaking of airdrops, there we go. Now, the time safe has not been hit yet. But, I mean, well, I say that, right? Developers, why the hell did you take out the, the pings, the audible pings from the time safe? This game was built on fear and anxiety. The, the game mechanic of not having a mini map and not having, like, you know, what Call of Duty has. Like, you know, in Call of Duty, whenever someone shoots, you see their pings on your compass. You don't have those two things in the game. So your game is built off of fear. Whatever you do has consequences, right? So why take away one of the core gameplay elements that is when you go for a safe, everyone should know you're going for a safe three different damn times. The time safe used to be one of the most dangerous things in the game. Used to be. But not to nerf the damn buttons, so you can just go for it, and no one knows you're going for it. 
Like, what? No. Why would you do that? Oh. You just saw. Someone hit the detector down here, right? Remember what I told you? The detector's down there. Now, we run the video by about 10 seconds, right? If you want to, because I'm about to explain something to you. There's a guy at the bottom of the map, right? Now, when you saw me come back, because I had to change clips, when you saw me come back, I was pretty much at the top and the middle between the time safe and the airdrop. And like I said, there is a guy down there at the bottom of the map. So I pose to you a question, my dear people. I pose to you a question. On the Verg Forest, in this scenario, you hit the detector and you see a guy between an airdrop and a time safe. You also know that there may be other people in the match still. Now, I don't know that. I'm just up here at the top of the map. But you see the entire map and who's still left. So I pose to you a question. Which would you go for? Because you're trying to get some experience, right? Which would you go for? An airdrop or the time safe? You can clearly see my bet is on a time safe. You can clearly see that. So, you know, I'm walking down here and then this happens. Now, I'll pose to you another question. Another question. The guy that hit the, t uh, the detector and the guy that I just killed, do you think they're the same person? In other words, my dear people, in other words, when I was at the top of the map or middle of the map between the time safe and the airdrop, do you think that the guy who hit the detector ran all the way up to the time safe in the same amount of time it took me to get from the middle of the map to the time safe do you think that one raincoat covered so much ground so quickly that they both ended up at the same spot at the same time even though i'm closer well according to the gameplay and the fact that the airdrop the real one not the red chest one is still sitting there i'm gonna go ahead and say it's the same person. That airdrop, not the airdrop, that raincoat had to be running fast as hell. And he should. Right? Y'all see in this box, he only had an M2 carbine and three clips worth of ammunition. And basically nothing else. So he probably could have covered that distance in, or that large distance in that short amount of time. He probably could have. But I was thinking about using the G3 for that kill, but I was like, you know what, bro? He's already taking radiation damage. A motion will end his life indefinitely. 
and it did. And speaking of the motion, uh, I streamed yesterday. When I say yesterday, I don't mean the time you're seeing this, but like, uh, what's today's date at the time of this recording? January 21st. So on January 20th, I streamed with the motion, and I got a threat. So if you think it's all about M882, L96, HBRT, if you're good with it, because it got nerfed, try the motion out. Just, just try it. If you can use an M82, you can use a Mosin. Everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.